Lady, as your assigned chauffeur for this journey, in which you have immersed me with the appropriate funds I requested, it is my best of duty to inform you that the destination in which you strive to seek has been located and I have performed my task in convoying you to the emergency medical institution. Since our approach to the building concludes our exchange, should you require further assistance upon existing my motor vehicle, there is a department found in the general direction of which I am demonstrating which acts as a form of administration for the entire building, and is conveniently a short distance away from our current location. Sir, I must inform you that I do not believe you have fulfilled your assigned tasks as I specifically requested to be dispatched outside the area of the building where emergency procedures and operations take place. The destination in which you have delivered me to must be an assumption of your own personal conviction. Henceforth it is not accurate to the location I specifically described upon requesting you as my convoy. Madam, I understand that you may in a position of great distress to approach the medical institution, as there may be a friend or relative of your family who may be inside the property undergoing serious medical attention, so I implore you to make haste in your venture into the premises. I appreciate your growing concern, however my current priority is to venture into the specific section of the building previously mentioned in our conversation. I beseech you to enter the medical center, promptly withdraw from my personal transport. I require further assistance. Promptly, promptly withdraw, withdraw from, from my, my personal, personal transport. transport. Sir, your demeanor has become somewhat present unnecessarily uncouth. I must exclaim that while you have strong displeasures in my lodging in your motor vehicle there is still the urgent matter of locating my specified whereabouts as the current location in which we are situated is unknown to me. If you are able to search within yourself to extend your kindness further, I will be very much delighted if you could direct me to my desired setting. Lady, your task has been fulfilled precisely to the letter. How you can possible of the nerve and intelligence to suggest that I did not perform my occupation to the appropriate level is outstanding. If you had the reasonably functioning motor skills, you could use the ability of sight with your eyes to deduct that you have indeed arrived at your desired destination. I even have conclusive evidence based on my transportable telephonic device by using its technological capabilities to geolocate our current surroundings. It summarizes that the location you initially requested has indeed been reached and therefore our engagement has been successful. I must insist that our arrangement has ceased and correspondingly I am no longer required to assist you. Now, please depart from my motor vehicle immediately. Sir, I believe you're departing. Depart from my motor vehicle immediately. Your device Depart, depart from, from my motor vehicle immediately. Why do you insist on addressing me in such an absurd volume? Because of my distress and intelligent magnitude of my voice is your persistence to remain in my automobile despite our arrangement terminating. I must protest that such behavior of shouting and screaming is the heart of rudeness and I believe it is against your employer's regulations. The lady doth protest too much. This transport is my personal property and you are refusing to evacuate it under my instruction. I implore you to exit the vehicle or I shall alert the appropriate authorities. Proceed. 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 You are in the presence of a Evacuate my four-wheeled contraption post-haste. You are in the presence Depart from my motor vehicle immediately. This unscrupulous situation has continued far longer than necessary and I am astounded by your inability to follow such a simple command. Your intelligence is under severe questioning. Abandon the vehicle. Expeditiously. Words fail to express my severe desire for you to vacate my property with the utmost haste. I believe you are violating several regulations by proceeding in such a despicable manner and I feel inclined to remind you that your employer has not given your special permissions to utilize such colorful vocabulary and grotesque amplification. Unpleasant wench. While I am under the rules and regulations bestowed by my employer I hold the sincere belief that while you are within my transport and using my resources, I own the right to address your unreasonable stubbornness. Bold of you to question the authority of your client under these circumstances. I somehow severely doubt that you earn the right to speak so freely. That assumption has no foundations. I can assure you that if you continue to illuminate your stubbornness to exit the vehicle then I will utilize and continue to utilize my virtues until you concede. Please reveal my location. I entreated. Nay, I pray that you will develop the necessary motor skills and intellect in order to arrive at the realization that your location is and always has been the destination that you specifically described and requested. This farcical endeavor to remain in my vehicle has become severely distressing and will likely become because of a life-threatening aneurysm. If you do not evacuate the automobile you are becoming a severe danger to my mental and physical health. I shall ask you once again, please depart from my personal transportation. Greetings and salutations fellow motorists. It appears you are in some form of severe stress. Do you require any assistance? Young traveler, your arrival could not be more opportune. I am indeed in severe stress and would greatly appreciate your assistance. Would it be possible for me to request that you remove this strumpet from my petrol-fueled machine of locomotion? Perhaps possess the needed charm which will guide my passenger out from within. Balderdash.